Let's say I've been asked to find the general solution of this differential equation. So x minus 2 dy by dx is 10y over x minus 5. So we're going to use separation of variables again. We're going to move all the x's onto the right-hand side and all the y's onto the left. So this time, I've got this x minus 2 on the left. So I'm going to divide both sides by x minus 2 and multiply both sides by dx. And we're going to get that y over to the left by dividing by y. So there's three things going on at once here. Dividing both sides by y. And I'm going to leave that 10 exactly where it is. Dividing both sides by the x minus 2. So that bracket can appear there. And multiplying both sides by the dx. And then I'm in a place where I can integrate both sides. Now, the left-hand side integrates to log y. But the right-hand side, um, I'm going to have to use partial fractions in order to integrate it. So, 10 over x minus 5 x minus 2 is equivalent to a over x minus 5 plus b over x minus 2. So that means that 10 is the same as a lots of x minus 2 plus b lots of x minus 5. So if we let x be 5, then we're going to get 10 is equal to 5 take away 2, so 3a. And so a would have to be 10 thirds. And if we let x be 2, then we're going to get 10 is equal to 2 take away 5, so minus 3b. And so b has to be minus 10 thirds. So this is equal to the integral of a over x minus 5, so 10 thirds over x minus 5, plus b over x minus 2, so take away 10 thirds over x minus 2, dx. So log y is equal to 10 thirds log x minus 5. I should really put, I guess, uh, square brackets around there. Uh, mod signs around the y to be consistent. Take away 10 thirds log x minus 2 plus c. Okay? And that is probably where I would leave this.